Hello everyone, Crystal Lynn here. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me for another pick a card reading. I am so grateful that you're here. I am truly honored to be a messenger for you for another affirmation of your own intuition, your own guidance. Just a little something to give you that extra confidence and knowing within yourself to move forward. Um, this picky card is what action am I being guided to take? What is my intuition, my inner being guiding me to what action am I being guided to move forward with? So we have four different groups to choose from one, two, three, and four. And just take a moment and tune in to which group really calls to your heart and spirit, maybe more than one. I just wanted to thank each and every one of you for being here with me, for your time, your energy, for walking this path of love with me. I am truly so grateful. I have been reading your comments and um, for those of you reaching out to me, I just want to say thank you because all of you have restored my faith in humanity and in love and so I'm just honored to walk this path with you and to support us in any way that I truly can. And our higher selves are very, very strong. And <laughs> I, I receive these nudges so much that I wish I could get more videos out, which I am, I am moving in that direction. So um, if you would like to receive a personal reading from me, um, the details are in my description box. You can go to crystalline.love. Um, and if you are interested in joining me over on Patreon, um, that information is down in the box description box below as well. I'd be honored. Um, I do daily messages um, for all my Patreons as often as possible and also um, monthly readings for different manifesting different things in our lives. And that will grow over time as well. So again, thank you so, so much for tuning in. Let's get into the reading. I'll put timestamps in the description. But let's get on with this, you guys. I'm excited to see what messages we have today as we move forward on our path. Okay. So for those of you who chose group number one, let's see what's going on with you guys. I kind of pulled these in such a way where it would be like kind of what's going on in the action that you should take. And of course the advice cards down here. So let me just tune in here for a moment and see what's going on. Um, <clears throat> okay. So you are someone who is a visionary, a leader, a natural born leader. You have a lot of fire in your spirit. You're very creative. Um, you have a lot of really good ideas and you have a very passionate spirit. There is some sort of shift in your thinking that's happened recently a shift in your consciousness, um, a shift in how you want to manifest moving forward and, you know, really choosing the path of authenticity, of love, you know, being in love with life, being able to fuel your fire, your passion, um, your visions, and you're embarking on this new beginning of really walking your truth. And because you are a natural born leader and you have a very fiery spirit, um, sometimes a fiery spirit is because we are such natural born leaders, we tend to suppress our emotions or how we're really feeling um, because we're so focused on what it is that we're trying to accomplish, right? So 
what happens is that those things get buried deep within our subconscious and you have this is the the moon card in the tarot okay it's all about confronting your shadows it's all about it's telling me that this is a time in your life right now where as you're having this shift in your consciousness where you're moving from fear-based to love-based consciousness from illusions to truth um, it can have you feeling a bit emotional because it's bringing up with this with this new level like basically you're going through a spiritual transformation with the judgment card here because with this new level of thinking with being more in tune with what it is that you really want it's going to bring up anything within you that is no longer serving you so you're being asked to confront your shadows you're being asked to confront anything inside of you that is throwing you off off your course that's causing a little bit of emotional upheaval and to really be honest with yourself you know and about what it is that you want because you're being guided to really open your heart um, the Knight of Cups, all the Knights are about action. You know, the King of Wands, he is, he's an action-oriented king, but because of his leadership qualities, he is able to really bring people together and people stand behind his visions. They want to help him manifest these visions because they believe in what he does. And so with this Knight being here, it's like, <clears throat> he's very charismatic, very charming. He's, you know, he moves forward in love. So I can see here that you, you want to make your choices based on what's true for you and for the highest good of all, you know, really creating from that solid foundation of love. And so that's going to require you to heal anything going on within you from your past, any wounds, any traumas, any sort of, um, self-defeating thoughts or any of that stuff um, because with the queen of swords here our emotions can really get the better of us so the action that you're being called to take is to really go within yourself and get really clear on what it is that you are moving towards. What is your why? You know, why are you manifesting? Why are you, why should you look at your shadows? You know, why, why is truly being honest with yourself? You know, why is that serving you? How is that serving you? And, you know, really look at your relationships. You know, which ones offer clarity? Which ones are, you know, have you running around in, mind games and manipulation and, you know, have your emotions just kind of all over the place because your head isn't clear. Like you are being offered this clarity. This is like your connection to your higher self. Okay. So if you're not expressing your fire in a, in a creative way, in a way that brings satisfaction, it can tend to make us feel a bit moody or grouchy, you know, to be seen as kind of cold, but really it's because we have underlying things going on within us, you know? It's about confronting our shadows and loving them and nurturing them and seeing that we all have light and dark, you know? It's about embracing your dark, healing it, you know, loving your inner child, loving the parts of yourself that you've rejected or denied or suppressed and really being honest with who you are. Um, because the judgment card is all about really rising up into your authentic self to really being comfortable in your own skin and embracing the world and saying, this is who I am. And I'm not afraid to show that. You know, I'm not afraid to stand in my truth. And when you do that, whatever you begin creating will just flourish. You know, the King of Wands, his visions flourish and you have to feed that. And so by really opening your heart, it looks like, you know, you're also being guided to find your tribe. You're being guided to find people of like mind. You know, you're being reassured that what it is you're, you've been going through is a blessing in disguise, that it's 
it served as an opportunity for you to really strengthen your intuition, your innate abilities, your creative, what really matters to you, what is really important to you, you know, and you're being guided to connect with nature, go out into the forest and breathe, you know, when you feel like you need to really go within, maybe do some purging, some releasing of emotions, maybe go out to the forest, you know, and allow the spirit of Gaia to nurture you. Breathe in that fresh oxygen. Hear, listen to the birds, you know, all of the sounds, smells, you know, the energy of the forest is alkaline. It is healing. The city is acid, you know, acidic. It's like really getting in tune with your with who you really are, your body, your mind, your spirit, okay? And understanding that your emotions, you know, all of these things affect everything else, okay? Opening your heart to love um, from the Ascended Masters. I mean, this is, this is a time in your life where you, you're going through a spiritual transformation and it's all about switching from the false beliefs and programmings of fear to really embracing love and seeing that love is going to allow you to manifest your deepest desires, you know, effortlessly, that you'll be connected to people who will support your visions, that want to support your visions, that want to work with you, that want to help you manifest. But that's what I'm feeling from this tribe card. And the people that are supportive in your life that want to be with you, their hearts are going to be open as well. You know, it's this energy of love that attracts us to each other and your heart, your heart is, is your compass, you know, it's the gateway to receiving love as well as the beacon, you know, transmitting the love. So every question that you have, everything that comes up, love is the answer. Love is what is going to heal any wounds or experiences from the past that had you just not in your spirit. You know, the queen of swords in reverse to me is just not in your spirit. She's just, you know, because when she comes upright, she doesn't put up with any BS or mind games. She likes to get right to the heart of the matter. She likes to cut out the drama, the things that are not serving, and really get to what matters, which is the heart. You know, let's talk about this. Let's communicate. Let's work through this. So it's like your higher self wants you to really talk to yourself, really communicate to yourself with integrity, with honesty, you know, to really use your intellect in a very intelligent way that's serving you instead of instead of you know allowing your fire to get the better of you okay um i want to actually look at this tribe card <clears throat> yeah because the tribe card is the number eight which i love because eight represents strength and also the infinity, right? It's, it's about really this time in your life is showing you how strong you really are. And this card represents community, belonging, being seen and understood by others, like-minded connections, a sense of family and friendship and knowing your place in the world. So when this card comes, it's all about connecting with, you know, new people, people that you're meant to connect with, your tribe, you know, people of like mind. And in order to manifest these beautiful visions that we have, you know, it, it can only become more solid and more cohesive, I guess, when we are in alignment with others and we're meant to be with others. We're meant to co-create together. You know, we're meant to come together and manifest 
whatever it is that we desire together. Relationships are important and they're how we learn, you know, they're, they're how we grow and evolve, right? So when we're with the people we're meant to be with, then we can truly be our authentic self because in order to find your tribe, you've got to be authentic and true to who you really are so that you, they recognize you and you recognize them, right? So, I feel like you're really discovering who you really are and who you really want to be with because with this blessing in disguise card, it says what appears to be a problem is actually part of your answered prayer. You'll understand the reasons behind your present situation as everything resolves. Trust in heaven's protection and infinite wisdom to answer your prayer in the best way. Okay, so you may have gone through a shift recently that really caused you a lot of pain and sadness and um, or sometime in the past even but it may be I feel like it's more like what you're going through now it's like you're, you're feeling maybe a bit stuck and but it's showing you that you have the power you have the power within you to change any situation and to take action towards your dreams um, requires us to be clear you know, requires clarity because if we are taking action and we're not clear about what it is we really want, we're kind of just, we're not, we're, we're just kind of shooting our energy out, you know, in whatever direction. But when we're really focused on and know exactly what it is we want, we can be really precise in how we focus our energy. So it's about really going within, healing, so that as you heal, you'll naturally gain clarity because all that heavy energy will be gone. You know, if you need to cry, tears are very, very healing. If you need to scream, shout, let it all out, get that energy out of your body. Love yourself unconditionally and allow yourself to purge out any toxic energy that's weighing heavy in your body, okay? And that in itself will bring about clarity and epiphanies and realizations and the next step forward, okay? Because it's it's when our minds are so caught up with all the mental, emotional stuff that we, instead of focusing our energy on what it is we want, we're, we're caught up in this. And it's because we have to confront our shadows. Otherwise, it'll just keep coming up over and over again, okay? And this card speaks to your breath being too shallow, which is... <laughs> Our breath is shallow when we are in a state of fear, a fear consciousness, um, and it's unconscious. It's because of our shadows, okay? So once you bring the unconscious to light and you really look at it and be more intentional about healing and taking really deep breaths, you know, really breathing, being paying attention to what's going on within your body, and tuning into gratitude, you know, and just remembering that everything that you desire is on its way to you. Everything that you go through and experience is teaching you something and it's helping you become who you're meant to be because the King of Wands is a leader. He's a natural born leader and that's who you are. And leaders don't become leaders overnight you know they become leaders because they have risen to the occasion when the challenges came you know they chose to rise above they chose to you know because if the leaders don't lead you know who's leading <laughs> you know if you don't know how to lead nobody does is really what it comes down to and it's it's stepping into the unknown and trusting yourself fully because you may be the strongest leader of all your peers or in your group. And, you know, it's because you're able to confront what's going on. You're able to, you know, the more, the more you confront, the more you overcome, the stronger you become. You know, the more clear you become, the more experiences that you've had, the more wisdom that you've gained. So... The next action you need to take is really going within and really asking yourself what's, what is holding you back from being this amazing 
visionary and leader who is building a solid foundation of unconditional love based on the truth, based on your connection to your higher self. And when you go in and release these things, the next action steps will be shown to you. Surround yourself with like-minded people, with people that you resonate with and, you know, new opportunities will come from those connections, you know, new collaborations and people that want to help you see your visions come to fruition, okay? And I really feel like sometimes we just need to get out in the forest and really breathe and, you know, being conscious of your breath and knowing that, you know, if you're not sure, you know, where you're at, pay attention to your breath. If you're breathing very shallow, it's time to shift your focus back to the love and take some deep breaths and that will help, you know, that, that just knowing that becoming aware of your breath, that it shows you whether you're in fear or love is really powerful because it's so simple, you know, and you have it with you at all times. So that is your message. I truly hope that this message resonated with you and affirmed what you feel inside and what you know that you've got to do and just remember that you are you are infinite you know you are strength you are beauty you are courage you are brave you know you are a visionary you're a leader you have a lot of fire a lot of passion and we're here to learn how to master our energy so that we can focus it in a way that create co-creates manifests what it is that we really want what we really desire what brings us true fulfillment you know for the highest good of all so trust yourself listen to your intuition and as you let go as you're really honest with yourself the way will just be continue to be shown you know you'll feel your spirit really begin to take the wheel okay so (laughs) Thank you once again. Um, I truly hope to see you again very soon. And I thank you for your time, your energy, for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, for just being here with me and walking this path with me. Um, And I will see you next time. All my love. So for those of you who chose group number two, let's see what your higher self, what action you're being guided to take. Okay. Okay, so give me a minute just to tune in here. I pulled the cards kind of like to see what was going on versus the action moving forward and the advice. So what I'm seeing already right away is that you are coming out of this time of intense heartbreak there was a relationship here that at one time was fulfilling on an emotional level or was possibly, you know, when you came together, you, you know, you were very harmonious, you know, things were, this was someone that you thought you would have a deep emotional connection with for a long time, right? For a lifetime. And, and maybe not that, but, The breakup that has occurred has left your heart, you know, in a state of sadness and grief and loss, but you are moving on because you know that it's for your highest good and the highest good of all, you know, this, the three of swords is a time of healing, you know, and really purging and letting it out and, um, really just loving yourself unconditionally because in order to have a harmonious union 
with someone else, we first need to be harmonious within ourselves. When the Two of Cups comes reversed, to me, this is signaling a time when you are being asked to really focus on loving yourself unconditionally, 100%. <clears throat> to really love yourself through any heartbreak, through any pain, you know, because you are walking, you are moving on from something and you're healing. You've got the world card here, which is embrace, which is <clears throat> really looking at yourself and relationships in the world with a new perspective, you know, really embracing the world, really opening your heart to others. And in order to do that, we have to heal any heartbreak from our past, anything that, you know, was not filling our cups. And in order to do that, we have to learn how to fill up our cup first. And that way we have infinite supply to give because we receive an infin infinite supply when we're in tune with our source. So with the Ten of Swords being in reverse, you are, you know, you are at the end of this. And with the world here, this is a completion of a cycle, okay? So this can also mean that you're not facing your heartbreak, which is only going to drag the feeling on. So in order to really step into this new cycle, um, it's about focusing your time and energy into something meaningful, into something that is going to <clears throat> really nurture your heart, your spirit, your journey for the rest of your days. And that means tuning to love. That means choosing to love yourself unconditionally, accept yourself radically, 100% for who you are. You know, you have a purpose here. You have, it, our main purpose here is to heal the wounds and choose love to co-create from unconditional love, the true source energy. The frequency of unconditional love is the life force energy. It is the chi. It is the, it is the, the energy that causes growth. And we have to learn to master that. You know, we have to learn to truly know what fills our own cup, what makes us happy, what nurtures us, what, you know, what we really want in a relationship. Okay. So I really feel like your higher self is guiding you to question where you're putting your time and energy. Um, you are someone who is connected to the earth. So you're being asked to really let go of drama, you know, any sort of negative, um, energy, fear-based consciousness, you know, arguing, gossiping, uh, you know, just people's beliefs not lining up, you know, convincing, debating, all of that. It's time to really detach from any sort of drama and focus your energy on what it is you really want, you know, filling up your cup, really pouring your time and energy into your path. Um, you know, the whole world is yours, you know, it's about tuning into what you really want with the fates card here, you know, whatever it is that has happened is a fated event, which means that it was always meant to happen, but it's from this fated event, this transition, you know, with the world card, this is a major arcana. So this is also telling me this is something that was meant to happen to show you something, for you to learn something about yourself, for you to learn how to love yourself unconditionally, what it really means to love unconditionally, and how you choose to respond moving forward is going to determine your destiny. Faded events come to us and during these pivotal shifts in our life, taking us to the next level of consciousness, you know, kind of testing us or, or presenting us with an opportunity to grow. And if we choose to accept that opportunity, we can we, we can heal those parts of us that, you know, are not based on love, you know, the pain and the heartbreak. Because with love, love is the only thing that's real. With love, there is no pain, there is no heartbreak, there is no sadness, because there is no separation. With love comes forgiveness and acceptance and understanding that 
love supports, love respects, love honors, love communicates. So when we're in relationships where we're not receiving that back, where it's kind of like a one-sided relationship or, you know, our, we're not able to communicate, we're not able to be in that place of honoring each other, um, we're, what we're doing then is we're feeding that energy of, of fear and we're keeping it going. So, you know, the best thing to do in those situations where there's no resolution is to walk away you know, so that you can still be in that loving space. You can heal yourself. You can send love to the situation. You're not getting entangled in all the the dramas because that energy just goes around and around in a circle. It never ends. The only way to end it is to choose love, you know, to heal it, to learn from it and grow and move on, you know. So this is about you really deciding to become aware, self-aware that you have the power to choose how your you know, how your future plays out, you know, is it going to be based on love and fear? Are you going to pour your time and energy into, you know, <clears throat> negative thoughts and, you know, people that, you know, people that come into our lives, they're, they're there to teach us something, you know, about who we are. When we discover more of who we are, you know, we can be thankful and grateful for these relationships, for what they taught us, for bringing us to this point, and we can let them go knowing that we are on our way now to relationships that are meant for us, that are truly meant for us in an authentic way. And we will be so grateful. We will, we will be so appreciative because of that contrast. So it's about shifting your mindset into that state of appreciate, being appreciative and grateful, like imagining your divine reflection or counterpart with you every day, you know, how would you feel? You would be in a state of gratitude, right? You would be in a state of love. You, you wouldn't be arguing with your divine counterpart. You wouldn't be confused. You wouldn't be heartbroken. So in order for you to experience this energy of what it is you want, you have to let go of the heartbreak. You have to allow yourself to cry and get it out and heal so that you can move on into what it is you really want. So anytime you're in that energy, if you can remind yourself as soon as you become aware of it to focus on love and tune into that energy that you want to embody, you know, when you think of your future divine counterpart, how are you feeling in that relationship? You're laughing, you're, you're communicating, you're being silly with each other, you're going on little adventures, you're making breakfast and listening to music and you're being creative and artistic because you feel so good and there's nothing to worry about. There's no problems lying under the surface, you know, that are being avoided. So notice the signs yes the signs you've been receiving are heaven sent we drop feathers coins and other signs upon your path to remind you that you're loved and never alone okay so if you feel alone really call out to the universe and ask for the universe to shower you in signs and synchronicities and when you receive them be grateful say thank you don't brush them off as just oh whatever like because the more you acknowledge the guidance, the more you acknowledge the magic, the more will show up. It's just like, I love the Seven of Pentacles card because it's just like the Seven of Pentacles. Like, you're planting seeds of love, of what it is you really want. And those seeds, they take a little while to, you know, really begin to sprout and, you know, come into maturity where you can reap the harvest, so to speak. So, but your garden, your, your seeds, whatever it is you're planting, you have to nurture them. You have to have patience. You have to love the process just as much as the reward, because without that occurring, you wouldn't reach the reward and you wouldn't feel that great sense of like, wow, you know? So, you know, if this is, this is about truly just seeing that you are an infinite being and there is nothing that you cannot heal or overcome, achieve or have, okay? 
you have the whole world. You, you, this is, this is your higher self telling you to just embrace the world, nurture and love what it is that you want. I'm sorry for the hail. It's hailing today and it's very loud. <laughs> I'll talk a little bit louder. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, because I want to finish with this fairy's earth magic card. Um, this is a card telling us that we have the same power as the fairies. We have this beautiful ability to communicate with nature, with the plants, um, <clears throat> with the elements of the earth, you know, nature is telepathic nature. There is a frequency that exists in all things and that it's the frequency of unconditional love that you want to tune into and see the life force in all living things. When you're out in the earth, when you're out in nature, when you're in the forest, when you are in a garden, when you tune into the plants, when you tune into the, the animals around you, really greet them as if they are another living being. You don't have to speak it out loud necessarily, but just your thoughts and your intentions. When you care for <clears throat> when you show love to nature, to the spirit of Gaia, she shows love back and the plants will communicate with you. You receive downloads. They also, you can also communicate with them through the energy coming out of your hands. You know, you can send love to them and it's in these ways that are, it's very empowering because you can do this. We can all do this. It's just becoming aware that we have this amazing force within us that is connected to all things. And the more we tune into things of the earth that are real and we see that we can connect with them and actually communicate on a certain level, it shows us that there's a whole world out there that we aren't even aware of, right? <laughs> there is like multiple layers of this universe that, that have always been here, but we're just not aware of them. So the more in tune you are with the magic, okay, the signs, your spirit, your connection to the universe, to the world, that magic is going to really support you in healing your heart and seeing that there's so much more to life than being in pain. You know, the pain is showing us that this is not what we came here to experience. We didn't come here to experience pain and suffering. We came here to experience unconditional love and co-creating in a very powerful way. This beautiful foundation of unconditional love. Most of us came here to break patterns and create new legacies of love for the future generations. And um, we've all been born into really difficult situations where we weren't taught the values. You know, the, the examples of unconditional love were rare, right? So... But when we learn how to give that love to ourselves first, we can then open our hearts and create a new path forward. You know, we begin to attract the others to us. We begin to inspire those that are ready to do the same thing. And so I think this is absolutely beautiful. The next step that you need to take is really looking at the areas in your life that are causing drama, that are causing pain, and just detach from them for a little while. You know, detach from people or situations for a little while that um, are triggering you. It's like if you have a wound, you know, and, you know, you're a cook or something or somebody hits it all the time or you get something in it all the time. It's like it, if you have an open wound and it keeps getting, you know, re-wounded all the time, it never heals, right? So sometimes we have to just pull back for a little while and say, look, you know, this is too much. I need to heal myself right now. I need to pull back and focus on myself for a little while. And when I feel strong again and, you know, I've come to a, a point in time where I feel like I'm back in my heart, I'm back in my power, I, I can make my decisions, 
you know, without being swayed by my emotions when I'm in a place of strength, you know, then we can get together and have a talk like a heart to heart or whatever it is, because nothing will heal if we don't stop first and address the pain. Okay. So that's what I'm getting for this message. And I really, truly hope this resonated with you and brought you some just clarity and encouragement to really embrace yourself, be kind to yourself, love yourself, nurture your heart, your soul, and, you know, do what's best for you right now because the universe is guiding you, okay, with all sorts of signs and really guiding you to choose the path that will allow you to really open yourself to the world, okay, in whatever way that looks, okay? So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your subscriptions, your likes, your comments, your shares. You guys are absolutely amazing. So, so amazing. I am so grateful to be a messenger for you. You've all restored my faith in humanity and I love you. <laughs> I'm really, really honored to walk this path and to be here with all of you. So thank you and I will see you next time. Lots of love to you. Okay, so this is for group number three. Make sure my camera's still on, okay? So group number three, what is the action that your higher self is guiding you to take right now? Just a moment here. I pulled the cards so that it was kind of like what's going on and what's the action and then the advice. So I can see that you are, there's a lot of fire and air in this reading and earth. It's very interesting. I can see that you are really being called to new things, you know. You're being called to a new path, a path that's true and authentic for you, you know. You're being called down a very successful path, the one that is meant for you. And you're keeping it to yourself right now. I feel like you have this... Um, inner knowing this this inner knowing of where you're going we've got the page of pentacles here so i feel like you you're there's like this new path that you're being called to your soul is calling you um you've outgrown some things in your life you're you know you're just ready to move on to something new that is really true to who you are that fulfills you that has gives you passion and you know where you feel confident and successful um You may be in a period of time right now where you're, you know, you're really doing a lot of research on this new path, you know, what you really want to do. You're kind of figuring out how to get started. You know, there may be a new business venture, financial venture um, that you're interested in. And I feel like you're being quiet about it right now. You're really contemplating it. You're really doing a lot of um, maybe asking questions, but it's something that Whatever is whatever it is that you're being guided towards, okay, it has to do with <laughs> I feel like there's something unfinished with either a relationship or something that you started in the past to before but never fully got started, or you started in the past and it didn't work out. And so it's like you're back at this place where you have this opportunity to really follow your heart 
follow your inner guidance and be successful at it this time because I feel like there's something there's something going on um, that's coming up right now that's been buried in your subconscious um, and the subconscious when things come up that have been deep in there for a long time it doesn't necessarily mean that they're negative things because when things come up like maybe you've recently gone through some some transitions in your life you know because the ace of swords is it's new beginnings in your you know how your perception is you know your consciousness you're you're choosing to live by your own truth by integrity and your connection to your higher self now and there's success in that you know you have the successful energy the wands this is the two of wands and the six of wands so these are very fiery passionate energies and you're definitely moving in the right direction okay you're moving in the direction of, of what is true for you your true authentic path and it could also be that you're just not as focused in the material world as you once were like maybe it was all about you know being wealthy and having a lot of money and a lot of things but you're finding that that's that creates a lot of responsibility and burdens because then there's maintenance and bills and you have to keep pouring your time and energy into something that maybe isn't worth it you know maybe you're preferring to go a little bit more simple um, maybe there was some sort of financial loss and you're starting over again because I feel like with this unfinished symphony card this is about things coming back around um, whether it's uh, an idea we had once that we never fully implemented and you know it's like this is the this is the opportunity now where you get to really go for it you know like you've learned a lot from the past and there's a lot of wisdom gained and now you're going to be able to to really succeed at what it is you're doing because you've learned so much about what not to do <laughs> basically like it's like every successful person has failed like so many times they've they're the ones who fail the most but the reason they succeed is because they get back up and they keep going and they don't give up you know that's the only difference so that's what this card speaks to and I feel like there's been a lot that's come up for you from deep within your subconscious as as you were healing as you were transitioning and there was some really good stuff that came up too maybe hidden psychic gifts and talents or skills that were you know very deep within you that just come very natural to you came up as well so you're going to be able to use those with your path moving forward and whatever it is um you're definitely being asked to meditate and ground yourself um like with the king of swords in reverse and the ten of pentacles in reverse i can see there's like a little bit of hesitancy for whatever has happened in the past and you're being guided to meditate and really ground um, especially if things are coming up from the subconscious that have to do with the past that that bring doubt any doubt into your mind just remember that the truth is based on love and you'll feel it like intuitively you will feel the truth you can you can feel truth and when we're following our higher self, it's all about how we feel. It's like, if we could all just stop thinking about stuff and get into our hearts, it's all about how we feel. Um, we are, our soul is a feeling. It's, we've been taught to not listen to our feelings, but that's, it, everything's the opposite. <laughs> our feelings are our guidance system. They teach us and show us what is right or not right for us. And I apologize, it's hailing. I might have to stop this. It's been hailing on and off this entire video. <clears throat> I hope you can still hear me. I'll talk a little bit louder. Um, but you guys have a chance meeting is no mistake. It is divinely orchestrated as a catalyst to set the wheels in motion for the fruition of your prayers. Pay careful attention to new people we send into your life. You will recognize them by your, by your sense of familiarity, comfort, and safety. So... A new partner or possibly an old partner who is like new coming from your past because that's the unfinished symphony card it's like there's some things coming up from your past 
that are coming up for completion or renewal. There's a new venture together with this person. Somehow this person is a part of what either needs to be healed or they're coming in to help you really build this solid foundation, um, which is going to be successful. It's going to be successful. What you need to be focused on right now is really being honest with yourself and truthful. Um, this is a total shift in your consciousness, you know, a breakthrough of clarity, of being able to, but you've got to nurture this, you know, you've got to nurture this truth. You've got to nurture your connection to your higher self, <clears throat> but it's, it's telling me that you're, that this is a very successful path, whichever path you're feeling. So this is about you really trusting your higher self, like really trusting your higher self because it's new, you know, it's new for you to be moving forward and whatever fears you have from the past, you can let them go because the only thing that matters is the now. Whatever's happened in our past is not happening anymore. And so it's important that we have gratitude for everything that's gotten us to, to this place in our lives, you know, for all the wisdom that we've gained, you know, that we've learned from our mistakes, <laughs> our setbacks, our delays, whatever they are. But it's about really believing in yourself and knowing the truth comes from being connected to your source. And, and with that connection, there's nothing that you cannot accomplish. So whatever it is from the past that you weren't able to achieve or felt successful in now it's coming back around for you to, to do again, because this is something you really wanted. <laughs> this is something you really want. So this is your path moving forward and you will be successful. And I just, that's what I'm feeling for this message. I feel a lot of fire and air energy. So Again, I apologize for the hail, <laughs> but I thank you so much for your time, your energy, for being here with me, and I truly hope this message resonated. Um, thank you so much for your comments, your likes, your shares, your subscribes. I am so grateful to be here with each and every one of you amazing people, and I'm sending you all my love always, so we'll see you next time. Okay, so for those of you who chose group number four, let's see what action your higher self is guiding you to take. Okay, so give me just a moment here to tune in. I kind of set it up so can I kind of see what's going on and the action that you are being guided towards. Okay. I feel like You're in this time right now where you're really going within and listening to your soul. You're really tuning into your wisdom within, your divine wisdom. Um, you're really tuning into the life force, you know, your soul, what really nurtures you, what, where you find your creativity, you know, that life force energy. You're really wanting to be in relationships that are nurturing, situations that nurture your heart, your spirit, your soul. You want to be in harmonious flow with your life, you know. 
this is the Empress card in the tarot. So this is really being connected to your heart, your soul, who you really are, the feminine energy, receptivity of, you know, the divine elements around you, Mother Nature, um, you know, fertility and new life, new, this new energy of truly embracing who you really are and nurturing it, you know. It's the divine feminine energy. And with the hermit here, this is all about listening to your soul, you know, listening to that light inside of you. You know, the hermit, he moves just one day at a time, you know? <clears throat> it's like this light, this this light, which is your soul, basically, it only, you know, see how it's dark, it can only light just a few feet in front of him at a time, you know, but no matter where he's going, his soul is leading him, he knows where he's going, he doesn't have to know where he's going, but he knows that his soul is leading him on the path that's meant for him, and so you may have been going within a lot, and really thinking about how to manifest a new beginning, and maybe not knowing exactly how to do that if you have what it takes um, or not having clarity around how to manifest that new beginning because what I'm seeing here is you're being asked to really seek the truth to really cut through illusions and get to the heart of the matter especially with the the queen of swords she is the seeker of truth this is this um, this is the seven of swords in the tarot seek the truth okay so this is about really going inside yourself because I feel like you've been around some deceptive energy some manipulative energy and with the Queen of Swords here it's like asking you to really use your divine mind intelligence your divine wisdom to discern the truth to really feel into you know if you're around energies that are manipulative, you know, your emotions are being manipulated, your mind is being manipulated and deceived, you have to really ask yourself, is this love? You know, does love hide things? Does love deceive? Does love manipulate others to get what it wants? You know, love, love leaves us satisfied, fulfilled, understood, Love nurtures us, love supports us, love encourages us and inspires us and reminds us of who we really are. And that's the Queen of Swords. She does not put up with anything. <laughs> she wants to get to the heart of the matter. Everything she, she uses her divine intellect like nobody's business. She's the Queen of Swords. She can see through all sorts of manipulations and illusions and she doesn't she chooses not to focus her time and energy in the direction of that in, in the direction of that. She she's not one for chit chat or small talk, you know. She's like, let's cut to the chase, let's talk about truth, honesty, you know. But she's very loving. She's very loving. It's just that she knows how to stay out of her emotions and use her intellect. You know, with the King of Cups here in reverse, it's like he can be very emotional, not in control of his emotions. Um, whereas the Queen of Swords, she's got her emotions in check, you know. She makes her decisions based from her intellect and what she knows is true so she's all about being honest and this is a time for you to be really honest with yourself and to really cut out anything in your life that is manipulative or harmful to your spirit to your life force energy um, with the vulnerability card here and the King of Cups and this this energy right here, it can make us feel very vulnerable in, and put us in a state of fear if, if we are feeling vulnerable because it is an illusion type energy. It's not 
nourishing, it doesn't support, and so our vulnerability can feel, we can feel threatened and actually, you know, it's like this unsafe feeling. So your higher self's really asking you to embody the Queen of Swords, to really cut through the truth, because when you can remove this deceptive energy from your life, you can really come into what it is to be truly vulnerable. Um, I'm going to read this card to you. I'm going to look and see what it says here. <clears throat> okay, so, yeah. As you're moving forward here and you're really beginning to see the truth and what's right for you and, and let go of anything that's not true, you know, that has you in a state of confusion, doubt, fear, okay? This card's all about being in a place where you can take risks with your feelings and even more important, take risks with the truth of who you are, the truth you know in your heart and soul. You no longer need to be subjected to your con conditioned fears of letting others know who you really are. Yes, others may judge, evaluate, criticize, and perhaps even put you down. These are very real possibilities. Yet by trusting that you have the strength to deal with these reactions, rather than responding adaptively and always playing it safe, you can more confidently allow yourself to be vulnerable. Always holding back from expressing your truth can create an illusion of safety. But armed with your trust and your faith, you can choose to be vulnerable and share your authentic self with the world. Wow. So yeah, that could also be what this is. You know, you're suppressing your emotions or holding back, you know, being true to who you really are. And the Queen of Swords, she's all about honesty and truth. And, you know, I feel like you're really being surrounded with a lot of strength right now. This is a time when you're learning how to master your emotions um, to nurture your soul and realize that your soul is pure, unconditional love. Whatever it is that you want to manifest in your life, in order for it to really manifest, to really fulfill your soul, to really fulfill what it is that you want, to feel like home, it has to come from love. And in that place, we have to be willing to see where in our lives we are feeding fear and where we are feeding love. You know, just taking things one day at a time with the persistence here and the no place like home and creative project. It's like you're being asked to really tune into your creative energy. Um, and that's where you can practice being vulnerable, like through a creative project. But you want to tune into that energy of home, you know, what home really feels like. And, you know, at home, we can be vulnerable. We can be ourselves. We can open our hearts. We're loved. We're accepted. You know, we're not judged or manipulated or any of those things, you know, and we're able to manifest what we truly desire because we're in tune with our soul. So, with Lou here, this is about staying persistent and knowing that you can overcome anything that comes your way, that you're on the right path. And this is really tuning into that energy of prosperity and abundance, um, of fire and, you know, your connection to the spiritual realms. Um, this is about tapping into your confidence, you know, your passion, what it is that really calls you forward and makes you feel at home, which I feel you're a creative being in a sense of, you know, expressing your soul through creative outlets, whether it's music, art, singing, dancing, um, whatever. <laughs> you're being asked to really express yourself creatively because that is your soul. You know, our soul's expression is our art. And that's what tunes us into that feeling of who we really are. It becomes a natural state the more tuned in we are to love. So in order for you to really embody this energy of home and really feel confident in who you are and where you're going, it's a time for you to really look at what is not true for you and 
release it from your life. And that is going to free up your energy in the right direction so that you can, that you realize you have everything you need to manifest what you want within you. It's really just about, you know, you are an infinite being. You are already a high vibrational being, infinite source energy. The reason that we have such a hard time manifesting what it is that we truly desire that really fulfills us is because we are living in illusions, fear-based programs and beliefs and things that are not serving to our soul and our spirit. And it's up to us to discern and to be able to go within ourselves and say, okay, what am I giving my time and energy to and why? And how is this serving me? You know, is this serving my feeling of home? Is this serving my, you know, how I, how my soul likes to express and just being really honest, you know, really tuning into what it is that fuels your heart. Okay. And, you know, embracing it and just being really clear that this is what you need to do. So it's time for you to go home. You know, it's time for you to really tune into that feeling of home and what drives your spirit. And you're not going to see it if you're not clear in your own mind about what's going on around you. You've got to gain clarity from within first. It all begins within. So, um, yeah, <laughs> it's just that place of feeling safe and secure, you know, where you can create freely and express yourself freely. Okay. So follow that feeling and the first thing you need to do is go within and really seek out the truth, you know, really seek out what is true for you versus what is holding you back. Okay. Because that's going to require you to really tune into your intuition. And the more you do that, the more emotional clarity that you will come into, because as you tune into your intuition and your feelings, you'll see the source of where your feelings are coming from. Okay. And trust that that will help you regain control over your emotions. Okay. And give you the clarity that you need. Okay. Not everybody is trustworthy. Not everybody has our best interests in heart as much as we want to believe that. So it's about seeing things for what they really are and letting go of those things that are hurting us or keeping us from manifesting the life we want. And it doesn't mean that those things are gone forever necessarily. It just means that it allows us to get moving on our path. And when the time is right, if there are certain people that are meant to be with us, they'll come back to us. And if they're not, they're not. And it's okay. Keep following your heart and your soul and you're on your way. You're on your way to creating a beautiful, beautiful life for yourself that's safe and secure and feels like home in everything you do. Stay persistent, okay? Tune into your fire. Light your light, your light bright <laughs> like the sun, okay? So that was your reading. I truly hope that it resonated and affirmed your own knowing and just gave you that guidance and clarity you need to move forward and to take action towards you know your path your soul's path so thank you for your subscribes likes comments and shares and for being here with me i am just beyond grateful and honored to be here with you guys it it just overwhelms me with tears whenever i see your comments and just restoring my faith in humanity <laughs> so i'm i'm just i'm honored to be here with you guys. You guys are my, my tribe, my people. And however I can support us is truly an honor for me. And I just, I love the magic. So thanks for sharing it with me and we will see you very soon. All my love. Peace out. Crystal Lynn.